Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a macrame heart using a pattern of square knots. And what I'm going to be doing for this project is I'm going to make a series of about five of these across a piece of string to make a garland for over my fireplace for some um, February Valentine's decor. What you will need to complete this project is you will need your string or rope. I'm going to be using three millimeter single strand cotton string in dusty ropes. So I've cut a piece of string to about 78 inches or 198 centimeters. You can make this as short or as long as you want, depending on your project. For each heart, you're going to need to cut yourself 12 pieces of string. And I've cut mine to about 36 inches or 92 centimeters. So what you need to do is you need to take your first piece of string and you're just going to fold it in half and match up the loose ends and then follow it along till you find the center, which will have a loop. You're going to place the loop over your string and you're going to pull it down in the back. Then you're going to take the loose ends, put them through that loop, pull them down, and then pull this knot tight around the string. This is called a lark's head knot. And that's how you're going to secure all of the strings to this piece to form your garland. So I'll show you that again. You're gonna take your next piece of string, line up the loose ends, find the middle where there's now a loop, take the loop over and behind your string, then pull the loose ends through the loop and then pull tight, and you're just gonna slide that over next to your first one. And you're going to repeat this with all 12 of your strings. Once you have all 12 of your strings secured using a lark's head knot, you are ready to begin making your heart. And since we started with 12 strings and we doubled them over, we now have 24 working strings. So to begin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna count over to the third and fourth lark's head knot from the right side. So go over one, two, three, four. We're gonna be working with the third and fourth lark's head knot which is the same as the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth string. And we're gonna use these four strings to make our first square knot. Now I'm gonna leave a little tiny bit of space at the top, maybe about a half inch, just so that you can see the heart design a little bit better. So you have four strings here to make your first square knot. You're going to take the rightmost string and you're going to cross it over the other strings. Then you're going to take the leftmost string, you're going to put it in front of that right string that we crossed over. You're gonna take it behind the two center strings, and then you're gonna pull it through this loop that you have over here on the side. And then you're going to just pull that up to wherever you want to start your heart. That's the first half of a square knot. To complete the square knot, you need to do the opposite. So we're going to take this string that's on the left, cross it over, then take the string on the right in front of the one we crossed over, go behind the center two strings, pull it up through this loop, and then take the ones on the ends and pull tight to meet the first half of your square knot. This is a complete square knot. Now we're gonna do the same thing over on the left. So you're gonna count over to your third and fourth lark's head knot. 
one, two, three, four, which is the same as the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth working strings on the left. And we're gonna make that same square knot. So take your string on the right, cross it over, take the one on the left in front, behind the center two, up through the loop, and then you're gonna pull it up to that same height. Now complete the knot by doing the opposite side left over, then take the right on top, behind, through the loop, and pull tight. So these will be the peaks of the heart on either side. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two square knots under each of the square knots that we just made. These are gonna be alternating square knots. So what we're gonna do with the square knot over here on the right is we're going to take two strings from the right side, and then we're gonna take two more strings next to it on the right. So you're, if you're counting over, you're gonna leave these first two out. You're gonna use string three, four, five, and six to make another square knot. I always start on the right side to be consistent. So right goes over, and then left side goes over to complete the knot. And now you're gonna do one right next to it with the next four. So we have two on the left of that first square knot and the two next to it. Right string goes over, left goes in front, behind and through, and then complete that square knot. So now you have two square knots underneath. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna pick up the left two strings from this square knot and two more next to it. Form a square knot with those four strings. Then take the right two from that first square knot, two more next to it, and make another square knot. So now we have one on this first row, two here and two here, so four across the next row. For the next part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do alternating again, but now we're gonna have one, two, three on this side and three on this side. So what you can do now is take from this square knot on the right here, take its two rightmost strings and then the two all the way over to the right. So you have four strings. Make a square knot underneath those other two. Then you're gonna move over and pick up the next four strings and make another square knot. Then move over and pick up the next four strings. And make another square knot. So now you have one, you have two, and then you have three. In the next row, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna start with the four leftmost strings, and you're gonna form a square knot. Move over and pick up the next four strings and make a square knot. And then move over and pick up the next four strings. So in this row, we've actually used all 24 of our working strings. And we've got a total of six square knots going across. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a row of just five square knots. So we're gonna leave the 
left two out, and we're gonna leave the right two out. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna leave these first two strings out, pick up the next four, so it'll be in between the two above it, which is why it's called alternating square knots. And then from there, you can just work across the row, pick up the next four, and then pick up the next four, until you are all the way across this row, pick up the next four, and when you're done this row, you have one, two, three, four, five square knots, and you have the two strings on either end that were not used. For the next row, you're going to make another full row of six square knots going all the way across. So you can pick up these four on the left, make your first square knot, and then continue across the row. Once you have this second full row of square knots, we're going to start descending into the point of the heart, the bottom of the heart. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to have a row of five, then four, then three, then two, and then finally one square knot for the point at the bottom. So again, you're just going to keep alternating. So this time we want to leave the two on the end out and pick up the next four and then just continue across until you have five square knots in this row. All right, so in the next row, we're just going to have four square knots. So we're actually gonna leave out four strings on either side. So leave those first four out, pick up the next four and start your row and you want to make just four square knots in this row. For the next row, we're only going to be doing three square knots. So we're going to leave out two, four, six strings on each side. And then we're going to make a row of three knots. For the next row, we're just going to be doing two square knots. So we are leaving out two, four, six, eight strings on either side. And we're just going to make two square knots here. And for our final row, we're just going to have the four strings that are in the center. So you're leaving out two, four, six, eight, ten from both sides, just using these four in the middle to make your final square knot, which is the bottom point of your heart. So once your heart is complete, you have a couple different options for the leftover string at the bottom. You could cut this straight across, or you could cut it at an angle to match the angle of the bottom of the heart. And you can do this just freehand by eyeballing it and cutting it down as far as you'd like. Or if you're a little bit more of a perfectionist, you can use something that's the width of the length that you want your fringe to be, like a paint stick or a yard stick, and then just line that up with the bottom of your project, and then use that as a guide to cut along the bottom of your heart. And if you don't have something that is the same width as you want this length to be, you could just use a piece of paper folded over or a piece of cardboard and just use that as your guide. You also have the option to leave the string as it is, or you can use a really fine tooth comb and you can brush this out um, to make sort of like a fluffy fringe instead of this stringy fringe. 
So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll give this macrame heart a try. Um, the possibilities are endless. You can use this in wall hangings or you can make coasters or you could even incorporate it into a plant hanger. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.